Hey, what's up guys? This is the Baron and today something a little different from Battlefield. I'm playing SimCity 2013 and I've been a SimCity fan since 2000 uh, SimCity 2000 and I've got to say I've, I've loved SimCity games um, throughout the whole series uh, throughout all their games and this one is no different. SimCity 2013 really really great game. Um, they have nerfed it a little bit and all that stuff. Uh, it is a lot easier for newcomers to come and play it uh, from the past games uh, in comparison to the past games. But nonetheless, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun, and uh, I'm just going to be showing you guides on how to play SimCity better, uh, get the max population, max money out of it, and um, all that good stuff. So this today today's video will be all about just understanding the HUD a little more uh, than anything else. I won't be building anything. I'll be just uh, um, uh, discussing the HUD and showing you what uh, each. Uh, tab will be uh, will, is uh, and you understand it a bit better. So we'll start off here. This is your Regional view your city view and your city specialization now first as you go straight into the game You'll see you got your city view. So um, the city view is essentially uh, your building tools um, And how you build your city pretty much as you can see that they're pretty all self-explanatory You got roads you got low medium high density roads or High density streets or high density avenues uh, they're your building blocks for getting zoning in and what zoning is is a, um, you, you click and drag on where you want to zone and then that's where your residential will grow or your commercial city uh, your commercial buildings will grow or your industrial industrial uh, buildings will grow power water and sewage of course are the main uh, I guess facilities of uh, building up a city without these your city will fail uh, power you've got your wind power plant your coal power plant your oil power plant solar nuclear and uh, leaf uh, Nissan leaf charging station which is just helps just that just helps reduce pollution or whatever you water you got your water tower and your water pumping station pretty simple stuff uh, you've got your sewage outflow pipe and your sewage treatment plant and now on to government and <clears throat> uh, this is where the, the government is very essential if you need to keep expanding getting those unlockables done see how it's not approved the sewage treatment plant is not approved uh, so you have to have a government and a government, uh, I guess, department attached to it uh, to get those unlocked. So having a government is very, very important. Waste disposal, another important thing. Uh, just generally, all it does is collects the trash that piles up in your city and uh, puts it into a trash, a trash heap, and then you can burn it if you want. And you've also got a recycling center which uh, can generate you money. Uh, and I'll discuss that a bit later in another video. Now next is the fire and fire pretty self-explanatory. You got your fire station, your large fire station, and a progressive office. So your fire stations obviously they put out fires, but the progressive office prevents uh, if a disaster happens and you've got coverage uh, around your city, uh, you'll get money back for the the buildings, the facilities that have been destroyed by the uh, disaster. So you get money back. So that's a little um, good thing to have. Health is you got your clinic, your small little clinic, and a large hospital. Police you've got. A police station, a police precinct, which is obviously a bit bigger. You've got a Maxis Manor now. That's pretty much uh, where Maxis Man lives. He's the superhero of uh, Maxis or SimCity, I guess, and that's where he lives. And you can hire him to uh, fight crime or put out fires, all that good stuff. The Vu Tower is the opposite of Maxis Man. He's the villain, and he t he takes in um, he takes in fright. Uh, freight, sorry, and he also adds a tra attraction like uh, high wealth uh, tourist attraction and stuff like that. So it's kind of a trade-off between the two. And also, you got your French police station, which is not very important. Pretty much like another a normal uh, police station, except it's French. That's it. Uh, next is schools, and schools is always is always essential. Pretty much, if you want to build up your industry and get those high-rise buildings in, you get your educate your Sims educated so that the high-rise buildings come in. You got a grade school, you got a bus stop. So you don't have to be placing, uh, <laughs> like in past games, you don't have to be placing um, school uh, bus stop. I mean, sorry, you don't have to be placing schools like everywhere um, on, in the in the uh, in the city. So you got your bus stops that will help make it ten times easier. High school, you got a pl uh, public library, you got a community college, which is a new addition to SimCity, and of course you've got your university where you need to uh, get those students in, make them smarter, and get those high-rise buildings in. Now next is the transportation or the mass transit and you've got your you've got a few tabs here. You've got your shuttle bus depot, you've obviously got a bus stop, park and ride, bus terminal and double decker bus terminal which is from England obviously. So that's the buses, the streetcars of course, uh, streetcar depot, 
Uh, you got your streetcar stop and your high density streetcar avenue, which you can build like normal roads and upgrade to normal uh, from normal roads uh, where the streetcars will go and drive on. And also you've got your streetcar tracks, which you don't need roads on. Uh, if if you if you don't have any roads uh, that you need to uh, streetcar to go on, you've got your streetcar tracks. Trains, of course, are self-explanatory. Put on train station, uh, train tracks, and you can put your train tracks all around your city. You got your train station or your passenger station. Uh, heavy rail tracks and a German high-speed uh, high railway station, which is of course German. Uh, now the boat, uh, there's a ferry terminal as well, so you can place a boat, and that brings in people. As you can see, there's a, there's a boat driving by, um, and that just brings in tourists and people and stuff, and helps you helps your Sims transport to other cities that are like on an island or something. Uh, you got your planes, uh, and this is the final one. Obviously, this this is your planes, and um, this is great if you're if you're a high tourist demand and you plop a plane. Uh, a um, airport and I'll bring in mass tourists and make your city grow even more second last is the parks and what parks do essentially is that they when you build next to houses and stuff they upgrade the wealth area land area of the of the of the area of the of the land of the area and the residential especially it's it, it comes especially especially good uh, when in uh, residential areas that uh, so that the high-rise buildings will come in and also you get like mansions and stuff like that if you uh, build uh, parks next to your your commercial buildings and your residential buildings and you see here you've got different uh, wealth levels so basic is uh, low wealth sports is medium wealth so is nature and high wealth is plaza and formal so depending on how, um, how high you want your buildings to be that's how you build uh, parks next to different sort of buildings and finally you got your disasters where you can just sit out um, and just plop a disaster anywhere you want so that's the city view done next is the regional view and all this does is it just shows you uh, each city that maybe you or someone else from uh, someone else from the world has started to build upon and you can go ahead and just look at uh, from a from a very far point of view just go ahead and double click and you can see like which city would look like you can even claim it if you want you can invite your friends and it shows you also like how much coal how much ore how much oil and how much water and how much wind there is so you can build your city up depending on what you've got in your city this is a great works and what it is essentially is you can build four different great works you've got a solar farm you've got an international airport you got a space center and you got archaeology, and this all this does is um, brings more people in depending on the the type of um, the type of great work it is. So international airport will bring in a lot of tourists and a lot of and it can handle a lot of freight. Uh, space center also brings in a lot of uh, tourists, but it also brings in a lot of students as well. The archaeology just brings in a lot of people. It just it's just a housing facility for a, lot, a, lot, a whole lot of people. And you've got your solar farm which provides power and that's a little great thing to have so you don't have to have power plants in your city that doesn't have uh, great works power for, uh, solar works there. Now as we move on you can see um, you, on the tabs below you got your different types of tabs. you got workers, you got shoppers, you got freight and you got students and you got mass transit and all this does is if you're in this view like this you'll see where each thing is coming from so you'll see where your workers come from maybe this city coming to yours to work or shoppers commute out of your city to go to another city and you also see like students coming in and commuting and stuff like that. Um, you can also buy power from people, and this is really important. Um, if you don't want to, but if you don't want to pop a power plant in your city because there's not enough room, you can just simply buy power and water and sewage from another person, and you'll be sent a bill, and you just got to pay them for the power. And sometimes it's a lot cheaper than actually uh, owning a power plant in the long in the long run. But sometimes it can lead to uh, <laughs> problems if if they if your if your um, if your neighbouring city doesn't have enough uh, have enough power to sell to you, then that be, might be become a problem for you. You can now also these four tabs here. You can also volunteer certain vehicles to help out with the city. Uh, so if you go back, sorry, just go back in. Uh, you can if you got excess of garbage trucks and your neighboring city needs a garbage truck to collect garbage you can just volunteer it and you'll get money for it same same goes for uh, your fire trucks and your helicopters and your uh, ambulances and your police your police cars if they need crime if they need um, help in crime if they need help in uh, in health or fires you just volunteer some fire trucks or whatever into the neighboring city and you'll get money for it and finally you can also gift uh, you can also give people money, uh, you can gift people alloy, coal, coal computers, etc, etc. You can gift all these things to neighbouring cities if they need it. And that's just like 
and you don't get anything in return for that you just gift it and that's uh just a little thing and they can help you back in return if you want it's all up to you on how you communicate with your neighboring city and stuff like that now onto city specialization and this is the last tab here and you can see here you got six tabs of city specializations you got mining drilling trading electronics culture and gambling now mining is pretty pretty self-explanatory you place a coal mine or an ore mine in your city as you can see here I've got coal in my city here but I don't have ore so if I was to place a uh, a, coal, uh, a coal mine I'll have to place it here in the middle here and then that all that will do is just pump out all, uh, the coal and you can use it in your power plant or you can sell it on the market as well or you can even refine it and smelt it into into metals and stuff like that the same goes for drilling you got your oil well and you can place oil wherever you are uh, you can place an oil well as long as it's on as long as you got oil in your city and that you can be refined into like plastic and stuff like that and you can sell it on the market and this and these two obviously are needed for uh, you need trading to do so so this is where the trading tab comes in you got your trade depot where trucks and stuff come in and sell your stuff and you get money back for it pretty self-explanatory electronics on the other hand need kind of both these things uh, electronics need like metal and uh, uh, plastic and stuff to make electronics so um, if you don't have any um, if you don't have any or coal or or uh, oil to build or uh, to build on in your city uh, you can always import it and that will cost you money but in the long run if you're selling processes and computers and stuff like that you'll make a lot more money uh, uh, rather than buying all this stuff and then not being able to use it so that's great and final, uh, second last culture culture just brings in a mass tourist kind of kind of city so it, it, have, it focuses on tourism and uh, wealth I guess and what these do is that uh, people visit and they pay and they pay money to go visit inside each of these things and then you'll get money back for it in your taxes and in your and your bonds and uh, sorry not your bonds your your overall tax uh, money income and these are the landmarks obviously now you got your stadiums as well where you can pl you place a stadium and then you can hold certain events to them and that's a uh, like a like a little way to make money uh, attractions you got your mini attractions for low wealth citizens so you just build them and then like low wealth citizens will come in and see it kind of like the big banana and stuff like that and you got your house of worship as well which doesn't really do anything it's just there for show and all it is it's just like a church or like a mosque or something and you just place it there and people will attend and stuff and you don't get any money back for it but you can get you get a good positive feeling and, and you keep the sims happy if you uh, plop them near areas and finally we got gambling house uh, or the gambling tab and you got your gambling house your gambling HQ your sci-fi casino sleek casino Roman luck casino and elegant casino and all these uh, all these cater for different wealth areas. So the gambling house uh, caters for low and medium health uh, wealth income. Um, sorry, population. So the, the low wealth and medium wealth will come here. And as your city grows, you can plop uh, uh, higher wealth casinos, and will therefore bring you in more uh, more money. So that's another great little tourism thing to do. And that's about it, really, for understanding the HUD. Uh, there are a lot of more, uh, a lot of more advanced sort of stuff when understanding like the data maps and stuff. And I'll get back and I'll get into that in another video. Like especially when you have your city set up and you need to understand like how your city works, the data maps can come in really, really in handy. Uh, so yeah, um, this is the HUD, and thanks for watching, guys. There'll be definitely more, more, and more videos coming out just to explain more specific stuff. And like, there's a lot of things you can do in this game. There's a whole lot of things you can do in this game and each each building and each sort of uh each sort of mechanic to the game needs their own video and that's what's really great about this uh this game and i can go on and on about this game and talk about it and how to tactically approach building your city and all that good stuff so again thanks guys for watching and i will see you all later